Hello, welcome to Bogarty Online Classes. Today, we'll discuss some important groups of organic chemistry that deals with organic compounds. First of all, uh, we'll discuss what are hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons. Clear? Here, hydrocarbons are the chemical compounds that are composed of two things one is the hydrogen another is the carbon so any compound any organic compound made up of hydrogen and carbon called as hydrocarbon we can take an example here uh, CH4 example CH4 here which is methane this is methane so here in this methane compound there are one carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms clear in a similar way, there are many groups of the hydrocarbons and also their derivatives. Okay, we'll discuss some groups like here. Uh, uh, some uh, hydrocarbon groups are, you know, very well it uh, that is uh, alkene, alkene. alkyne these are the three basic groups and along with that another group alkyl group is present which is also called as radical group radical groups so it is very important to know regarding the nomenclature and the uh, formula and the uh, uh, formula structure nomenclature of all these alkane alkene alkyne along with the alkyl group to know the derivatives of the hydrocarbon that is other groups like alcohol like carboxylic acid etc etc so first of all we'll discuss these three important groups that is alkene, alkene and alkyne. So let's start. First one is the group alkene. Alkene. Okay. It's a general formula each. Each. C N H two M plus two. Clear? So the general formula for this alkene group is C N H two N plus two. It means alkene are such compounds which are made up of carbon and hydrogen atoms and the number of hydrogen atom each two times plus two that is two more than two times of the number of carbon atom so here if n is the number of carbon atom then hydrogen is it's twice that is two n plus two more clear so and a functional group for this functional what is the functional group for this alkene compounds alkene groups each uh, there must be a single bond between carbon and carbon atoms at everywhere in the compound clear and suffix for the group each any 
clear and to name we know that for naming you should keep in keep in mind that uh, to name any group or any compound that is to uh, no one write the iupsc name international union of pure and applied chemistry a board which gives the rules for naming eg naming of the compounds and here uh, for alkene group the suffix is ane that means at the end of name of the each compound of this alkene group there must be ane and a name consists of two things prefix plus suffix okay and the prefixes that are used at the time of naming are if a prefix we'll discuss the prefixes here that if in the compound there there is only one carbon that is c1 here one carbon the prefix meth is used meth if there are two carbon atoms prefix eth is used carbon 3 prop carbon 4 but carbon 5 pent carbon 6 hex carbon 7 hept or sept carbon 8 oct and carbon 9 non carbon 10 dec for the higher number of carbons dedo and dedo all these are prefixes are used but uh, for the time being we will have to know the basic that is up to uh, carbon number 10 all these i meet it it is uh, like a rhyming here rhyme words like uh, c1 c2 c3 meet it prop but pent hex hept oct non dec all this so let's come into this group that is alkene here um let us consider number of carbon here this side gives number of carbon this is formula head and this is naming head and this is structural head that is structure clear and we know that in alkene group there must be only single bonds only single bond between the carbon atoms clear and the first compound which is made up of a single carbon atom then and here you know the formula and here we know that general formula for alkene group for alkene group is cn h2n plus 2 and if the number of carbon is 1 then what would be the formula cn that is c1 here and what about the h that is 2n the, the value of n is what 1 That is two into one, two plus two, four. That is C H four. Okay, C one four, or C one H four, or it is simply written as C H four. Clear? And the name is here. We uh, you know the, what is the number of carbon atom here? One. So prefix is meth, and suffix because this is the alkene group. Suffix is a n e. So here a n e is added to the prefix methane. Clear? The name is so easy. That is methane. And uh, next come to the structure here. In this compound that is in C H four, there is only a single carbon atom here. Put the single carbon atom like this. And we know that a carbon atom is tetravalent. That means it forms four bonds. Okay. 
and uh, there would be four hydrogen atoms here like this so this is the structure of methane or the first compound of the alkene group next come to uh, if uh, there would be two carbon atoms in a compound in the alkene group then what would be the formula for this group here n here actual number of carbon is n value of m cn h2 n plus 2 that is c2 then what about h number of h is 2n the value of n is what 2 2n means 2 into 2 4 plus 2 six clear and the name is number of carbon atoms 2 so uh, what is the prefix it and the suffix is an ethan so easy it's so easy next come to structure there are two carbon atoms so put two carbon atoms in a chain like this and we know that uh, a carbon is tetravalent that is it forms four bonds so like this 1 2 3 4 and also here for this 1 2 3 4 and I'll put hydrogen atoms here oh this is the structure of ethan ethan structure clear it is simply also in condensed form it can be written or this can be written as ch3 ch3 bond here also ch3 clear ch3 okay next is uh, what would happen if the number of carbon atom is like here if uh, three carbon atom is three then here c3 hydrogen is what twice of three plus two that is twice of three is what three into two six plus two eight c3h8 and the name is here as there are three carbon atoms prefix is what prop and suffix is ane for the alkene group that is propen and the structure for this uh, c3h8 or the propen is there are three carbon atoms here put three carbon atoms in a line like this and we know that for this carbon atom there would be 1 2 3 4 4 bonds and for this also for there would be, uh, 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 okay now put hydrogen atoms here 